Hi, it's Jay. I want to share a mystery that I've wondered about for years. When I was a kid, I went fishing with my dad and grandpa. We were out on Lake Michigan with nothing but water all around. When suddenly, flies swarmed our boat. These were the kind of flies that usually buzz around trash cans. We had no idea where they came from, and it's still a mystery to me. Someone named Caleb has another mystery about flies. Let's give Caleb a call now. Hi, Jay. Hi, Caleb. I have a question for you. Why do flies just appear in the trash can? That's a great question and a great mystery. I'll call it the case of the overnight flies. Ready, detectives? It's another hot summer day. The sun beats down on the kitchen trash and you get a whiff. Ew, better empty it soon. But first, breakfast. You grab a banana and go to throw away the peel. But when you lift the trash can lid, a swarm of house flies comes buzzing out. Your whole family is confused. No one saw any flies earlier. The grown-ups are certain the trash can was closed when they went to bed and when they got up this morning. But if the trash was closed, how did the flies get inside? Did they just appear overnight? I'm curious what you think happened. How did flies appear inside a closed trash can? Now would be a good time to pause the video and discuss. Okay, are you ready? I'm not sure how you answered, but maybe you thought if you stayed up all night watching the trash can, you could have seen the fly sneak inside. You're on the right track. Let's take a peek inside. No flies yet, but there is something strange in the trash. These dark oval shaped things, maybe they're a clue. Hours go by, still no flies. But then you notice this. One of the dark things has cracked open and something is coming out. What is that? It's hard to tell at first, but eventually they all crack open and you see flies. Whoa, the house flies you saw in the morning came from those dark things. But how did the dark things get in the trash? Let's go back in time a few days and check out the trash again. No flies and no dark things. But I see something moving. Here's a closer look. It's these little wiggly creatures. Another clue. Over several days, the wiggly creatures grow bigger. Then they stop moving and start changing color. Wait, does that look familiar? They turned into those dark things. So the houseflies came from the dark things and the dark things used to be wiggly creatures. But how did the wiggly creatures get in the trash? Let's go back in time again, a few more days. Uh oh, someone left the trash can open and a housefly is landing inside. Is that one of the flies you saw at breakfast? No, it's flying away. I guess not. But it did leave behind a clue. This pile of tiny white things. Weird. The tiny white things don't move and not much happens for hours. But then they split open and these wriggle out. Hey, it's the wiggly creatures. So the houseflies came from the dark things, and the dark things used to be wiggly creatures, and the wiggly creatures came from the tiny white things, and we just saw how the white things got in the trash. A fly put them there. We've been going back in time, but now let's put these clues in order. The mystery actually started over a week ago when a housefly visited the trash. It left behind a pile of tiny white things. Next. Wiggly creatures came from the tiny white things. Then the wiggly creatures grew and changed into dark things. And finally, flies came out of the dark things and flew around when you opened the trash at breakfast. I think we've solved the mystery. The flies didn't just appear in the trash overnight. They were already inside for over a week, starting at those tiny white things. And maybe you can guess what those are. They're fly eggs. Houseflies lay their eggs in places with plenty of food for their babies. They love mushy, rotten things, 
so our trash is perfect. Those wiggly creatures that hatch from the eggs are baby houseflies. Another name for them is larvae. You've probably noticed that they don't look anything like adult houseflies. So how do they go from these wiggly creatures to having wings and legs? Well, remember when the larva turned into that dark thing? At that stage, it isn't a baby or an adult. Instead, scientists call it a pupa. Its body makes a hard shell. Inside, it goes through a huge change, then comes out as an adult. All these changes the housefly goes through after it hatches, from larva to pupa to adult, are a process called metamorphosis. If that sounds familiar, it's because some other animals also go through metamorphosis, like butterflies. We have a lesson about it if you're curious to find out more. So it turns out those houseflies went through the entire process of metamorphosis, starting with hatching from an egg, to a larva, to a pupa, to adult, in less time than it took to empty the trash. That's amazing! Animals and plants are living out their lives all around us. Some change so fast and some change so slow that you might not even notice. By taking time to look closely at places you normally ignore, you may uncover clues to how living things grow and change, even in the trash. That's all for this week's question. Thanks, Caleb, for asking it. Now, for the next episode, we reached into our question jar and picked out three questions sent into us that we're thinking about answering next. When this video is done playing, you'll get to vote on one. You can choose from How do snow globes work? Could a kid win a race against a penguin? Or Who invented mittens? So submit your vote when the video is over. We want to hear from all of you watching. There are mysteries all around us. Stay curious and see you next week.